preventing the growth of bacteria. Third, to prevent internal infection in animal. The animal feed is treated with antibiotics. The fourth one, certain antibiotics are used to control plant pathogen. The fifth one, certain antibiotics in the form of creams are applied externally on the skin and they act as antiseptic. This gives us an idea of what are antibiotics and also gives us an idea of their uses. Let us see something more with details about these antibiotics which are there. And when we talk about these antibiotics and their roles, we also have to go with further details about what are antibodies and how they are controlled. We also take a detailed amount of which are the different types of antibiotics? Right now, when we were talking about antibiotics, you need to know some details about the antibiotics that are available. To name a few antibiotics, here on the monitor are the details. Penicillin, Streptomycin, Clonanfenicol, Staphylococcus, then Sulfapyridin, and sulfonamide. These are the antibiotics which are there. These antibiotics play a vital role. To quote a few examples for you. Penicillin is playing a vital role in the treatment of diseases like pneumonia. In case of streptomycin, it is used in the treatment of tuberculosis or for that matter chlorinfenicol is used in the treatment of typhoid or even staphylococcus is used in the treatment of the pharyngitis. So here are a few examples that we are quoting with reference to what are these various antibiotics. To repeat once again, penicillin, streptomycin, chloramphenicol, staphylococcus, sulfapyridin and sulfaminide. These are the various antibiotics which are there. As we talk about these antibiotics, we also highlight on what exactly is the meaning of the word sulfa drugs. On the monitor, the details. Sulfa drugs are synthetic drugs containing sulfur and are used to prevent and cure certain diseases. Sulfa drugs, which is sulfonamide are used to prevent the multiplication of bacteria in human body. The sulfa disin or sulfa anil amide are sulfa drugs that were used commonly for the treatment of bacterial diseases before the discovery of or the introduction of antibiotics. Example that we quote is dapsone sulfone or DDS, diamino diphenyl sulfone. These are the various types of sulfur drugs. Let us see some more details on these sulfur drugs to understand a better part of it. When we studied the sulfur drugs, now we talk in details about sulfonamide. On the monitor, the details for you. Sulfonamide was discovered in 1930, which proved effective in many types of bacterial disease. Sulfur diazine and sulfonylamide are the two such sulfur drugs. These are synthetic drugs and they interfere with the metabolism of bacteria, which are thus killed. Nowadays, these are not used to a greater extent as there are so many other type of drugs which have come in the market. When we highlight it with this part of sulfur drugs, we will also talk with reference to antibodies that we are highlighted initially that how do the antibodies they compact and destroy germs. To talk about this, let's see the first process called as agglutination. Agglutination is a process in which the antigens are clumped together and are rendered inactive. What is lysis? 
lysis is the antigens are destroyed by dissolving its membrane. What exactly is the meaning of the word neutralization? Neutralization is the third method. Neutralization, the toxins are neutralized by the antibodies or antitoxins and there is no bad effect. Precipitation is the antigens are precipitated with the antibiotics and are not able to cause any harm. So here are antibodies, antibiotics and the details that we were highlighting with the various drugs of which sulfa was a very important one along with various antibiotics. We move on to the next segment. We now go back with a flashback. The flashback is on two. One is skin and the other one is leukocytes. How does the skin and the leukocyte fight against diseases in our body? A few more details for you to remember. The skin has an outer tough layer which is made up of keratin and it is almost impermeable to germs. Lots of germs settle on the skin surface and even cut skin opens the way for germs. Washing the hands with soap removes the germs but any scratch or cut in the skin opens the way for the germs. Should there be any cut in the skin, clotting of the blood plugs the cut end so that there is no more entry of germs. That's the role played by skin. But leukocytes, WBC, fight the germs entering the body. They squeeze out through the walls of the blood capillaries which is called as diapedesis and hence they engulf the bacteria or the germs and destroy them. So to give you an idea of a comparison of skin outside, leukocytes inside, fighting against germs and killing them. So here we are taking an account in the first segment for the details that we studied in this chapter of AIDS to health. We will move on to the next segment in this chapter. When we now take into account this chapter of AIDS to health, we also need to know a name of a few vaccines and where they are given or for what disease are they given for as a protection. Here on the monitor are the vaccines. The first one is DPT. DPT is given for diseases like diphtheria, pruteosis which is called as whooping cough and tetanus. Second vaccine. BCG. Full form of BCG is Bacillus clementi gurian, which is given for tuberculosis. TAB, T A B, is given for typhoid. And SALK is given for polio. So you should know the names of the vaccines. You should also know which disease they are given for. As we talk in this chapter, we now move on to the last segment where we take an account of what is first aid. On the monitor, the definition of first aid. First aid, a patient may suffer an accident or a sudden deterioration of health condition. In such a situation, a doctor should be called in. However, some immediate measures must be taken either at home or at the nearest possible hospital or dispensary. This immediate measures are referred to as first aid. When we are talking about first aid, let us take an account that which are the instances in which first aid can be given. Here on the monitor is a list. In case of sudden unconsciousness, fracturing of a bone, heart attack, burns, then in case of electrocution or in case of drowning, snake bite, insect bite or even in serious wounds or cut on the body. These are a few instances in which the first aid can be given. In this chapter, 
as we talk about first aid you should also know the conditions or the measures